Hi, I'm Shauna Ginsberg, reporting for Rethink Breast Cancer at our High Risk Forum, and I have the privilege of sitting with Dr. Tony Zong from UHN, who's a breast reconstructive, breast reconstructive surgeon, and I have a few questions for you, Dr. Zong. So my first question is, are there any differences in reconstruction if you have a mastectomy due to having breast cancer, or if you have a, mastec a prophylactic mastectomy to reduce your risk of breast cancer? So excellent question. Um, there are some subtle differences. So for example, if you're having a mastectomy um, simply to reduce your risk of developing breast cancer in the future, then you are an ideal candidate for either skin sparing mastectomy or even nipple sparing mastectomy in some cases uh, that's combined with reconstruction at the same time. On the other hand, if you actually have breast cancer, and you're undergoing a mastectomy, then sometimes um, we usually, I would say, skin sparing, usually it's still possible. However, at this current time, we are advising women against undergoing nipple sparing mastectomy. We don't think that leaving the nipples along with the ducts that come up through the nipple itself, leaving that behind, we feel may give patients a higher risk of developing breast cancer recurrence. So nipple sparing is sort of out for that group of women. Skin sparing, however, is still possible. Mm -hmm. However, in some cases, if their breast cancer comes very close to the skin, mm -hmm. or if they've had a previous, let's say, a lumpectomy, mm -hmm. and that lumpectomy is a high risk, the scar from the lumpectomy is a high risk mm -hmm. for developing uh, breast cancer in the future, then we do have to remove um, that part of the breast skin, in which case even uh, skin sparing mastectomy may not be possible. So definitely um, nipple sparing and skin sparing are two extremely good options for someone undergoing prophylactic mastectomy. Great. And then my other question that I had is if you have prophylactic mastectomies, is it better to get immediate reconstruction or is it better to wait to get your reconstruction? What do you normally recommend? So I'm glad that you're bringing it up because I think it is important, very important for women to know that um, if they're having prophylactic mastectomy, they should absolutely talk to a plastic surgeon about having reconstruction at the same time. Mm -hmm. So immediate reconstruction. And that is preferable um, because at the time that we do the mastectomy, we can preserve the skin, we preserve the laxity of the skin, um, the, we can preserve what we call very natural landmarks to the skin. So like I said, sometimes we can preserve the nipple, we definitely preserve the skin envelope as well as the inframammary fold. These are all key anatomic parts of the breast that makes that breast look so natural and mm -hmm. look so aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So the only time we can preserve that is when we do reconstruction at the same time. So although you can technically still have delayed reconstruction down the road, you lose all those um, natural skin and breast landmarks. Mm -hmm. And so the final aesthetic result, I would say, um, is inferior if you delay the reconstruction. Mm -hmm. And then one other question, do when women are having um, prophylactic mastectomies done with reconstruction, do they have varying choices of the type of um, reconstruction that they can have done? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and we look to the women mm -hmm. for, um, to guide us mm -hmm. in deciding what is the ideal reconstructive option for them. So people have personal preferences. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer um, a shorter surgery, one that has the least amount of complications with the quickest recovery, right. in which case, generally speaking, um, immediate reconstruction using implants would be the good option for that mm -hmm. subset of women. And then there are other women who, let's say, um, have a bit more tissue to donate, especially around the abdomen, and then we can use that tissue to build a very natural looking breast. And that procedure in itself is appealing to some women because you have the added benefit of having improved abdominal contour. Mm -hmm. So there are definitely options available. It depends on the patient's anatomy, but also depends a lot on their preference. Great, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs>